You know, they're not done. It, it really is an exceptional pattern, uh, not in a good way, but just meteorologically to see this parade of storms, strong storms continuing to batter the West Coast like this. So yeah. we're kind of lucky. Yeah, I'm feeling, you know, yeah. we'll take the little showers that we're getting here. Absolutely. And today was a beauty. Yeah, really it still was. is. Oh my the, goodness. Right? That's live from our Wells Fargo Skycam in downtown Portland. If you have a view of Mount Hood and you can look on off to the east, this is where you're going to get an eyeful. It is just beautiful. Now, over the mountain itself, you're in the clouds here like at Timberline, but it is a beauty of a scene. I'm time lapsing that for the 11 o'clock news later tonight. 49 degrees right now. The east winds, they're back. So we're kind of going through this period where we get rain. We get south winds like yesterday with a storm going through. Then the wind switches and goes east. We dry out a little bit, but we never really lose the rainy stormy pattern. So we had a few sprinkles today. Actually, in spite of the clear that we're getting right now, you look at Doppler radar. Most of the Northwest is free from precipitation, but not Southern Oregon. There have been some thunderstorms on the Southern Oregon coast too, as you can see just on the bottom of the screen, and this rain will be pushing northward tonight. Now I don't expect a whole lot of rain tonight, but it is going to get rainier later tomorrow. And look at the highs today. 51 again here in Portland. Kelso busting out a 55 for one of the warmer numbers on the map, only outdone by Southern Oregon with a 58 in Coos Bay and North Bend, 53 down at Brookings, only 44 in Eugene today in 50s on the North Coast. So here's the latest system. You can see it's pounding into California. We're catching the northern edge of this. There's a lot of instability offshore, very dynamic weather system, hence the thunderstorms there. No super cold air with this one. In fact, the snow level goes up at the end of the week to about 7,000 feet here in Oregon. Not great for our snowpack, but it gets better for the ski season. So this is the current system pounding California, mainly with showers and thunderstorms, some of which have been strong. That is the next storm that comes in tomorrow. That will be another widespread, steady, moderate to heavy rainfall for California. Now here in Oregon, there's a high wind watch uh, for the coast tomorrow until Thursday morning for the southern Oregon coast. Still wind issues around Pendleton and the Grand Rod Valley. Otherwise, we're doing OK, but California, what seems like a permanent feature on the weather map. So winter storm warning in the Sierra Nevada continues as they will get feet more of snow. Then there are the big swells. They've calmed down a bit today, but when we look at our our swell forecast, see the big area of the magentas here. Look at the color chart. Those are swells that are going to be 35, 40 feet offshore. Now they will decay and weaken as they reach the coast, but we're looking at some 30 footers potentially on the Oregon coast late this week. Here's future cast. We get some rain coming in late tonight, about midnight or so, then a break and then more steady rain approaching us beginning tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night. There's that great shot of Mount Hood yet again, 49 degrees, freezing level, somewhat high, 6,800 feet. So cloudy with east winds continuing tonight, then rain late tomorrow. There'll be a little bit of rain tonight too. Rainy on Thursday, Friday, sun and showers. Saturday looks rainy as we go into Sunday. It breaks up a little bit and then more rain and some colder temperatures and more mountain snow early next week. Brittany. All right. Thanks so much, Matt.